OK, so with this problem, uh, we've got students at a college who were asked whether they had had breakfast that morning. Uh, the results are given in the table. So we've got a two-way table. Uh, their ages, 16, 17 and 18, have been recorded, and whether they said yes or no. So what we're going to do is we're going to work through finding some probabilities, the basic ones to start off with, and then we're going to get into some conditional probabilities uh, for 5, 6 and 7. OK, so first of all, probability of getting yes, of a student saying yes to this. Well, we haven't been given the totals, so we need to work those out. So we want the total for the rows, we want the totals for the columns. OK. Right, so uh, 52 plus 50 plus 32, that's 134. And we've got 34 plus 40 plus 67, so 141. So that's a grand total of 275 students. So we'd have uh, 86 there, 90 there, and 99 there. So those three should add up to 275 as well. OK, so. That's the first thing. So the probability of choosing a student at random who said yes uh, would be 134 students said yes out of 275. So that would be the probability. So as uh, a decimal, that would be 0.487, OK, to 3 sig fig. But leaving it as a fraction is fine. The probability of choosing a student who was 18, uh, there were 99 students that were 18 out of the 275. And so that's the probability that I'm looking for. Find the probability that they said no and they were 17. OK, so no and 17 is the overlap of that column and that row. So that would be 40 students out of the 275. Now, the probability of saying yes or being 18, what that is implying is that any, we're including anyone that said yes and anyone that was 18, including the intersection. OK, so we're looking at 52 plus 50 plus 32 plus 67. So 134 plus 67 is 201. So that'd be 201 out of 275. Right, now we get to the conditional probabilities. So the probability of saying yes, uh, they did have breakfast, given that they were 16 years old. OK, now you can use the formula to do this. OK, so the formula, remember, is the probability of A given B is the intersection of A and B divided by the probability of B. So for us, we're looking at the probability of having breakfast, uh, given that they were 16, which is the probability of having breakfast and being 16 divided by the probability of being 16. OK, so um, yes and 16 is 52 out of 275. And probably being 16 is 86 out of 275. And so that's 52 out of 86. And so that is the correct probability. But there's an easier way to do it, OK? Uh, you don't really need to use the formula when you're using a two-way table because if you're told um, that uh, we're given 16, you're just looking at that column, the 16 column. So what's the probability of someone saying yes out of the 16 column? Well, it's 52 out of 86. OK, so it's as easy as that. So we don't really need the formula for these. The probability of a student being 17, given that they said no. Well, given that they said no, just looking at that column, what's the probability of them being 17? Well, 40 out of 141.
And last one, the probability of uh, not having breakfast, uh, given that they were 18. So given that they're 18, just looking at that column, what's the probability of them not having breakfast? Well, it's 67 out of 99. So finding conditional probabilities from a two-way table is actually very straightforward, more straightforward than a tree diagram, certainly. Okay? So you really don't need to use the formula for this. You can just read them off.